welcome back. This is Dreadlock121. If you remember, I used to play a lot of video games, and I used to record them. And, uh, anyway, I'm back, at least for now. Uh, I haven't made a, a game video in quite a few years. Um, I think the last games I was recording was uh, probably Battlefield, uh, but I'm a huge uh, World of Tanks player. And lately, uh, which is what I'm talking to you about today, is World of Warplanes, which I was in the alpha and beta of this game a long, long time ago, but I kind of just lost interest in it, like a lot of people. Um, you know, it was it was okay. Um, it, it, I, I think it got a much worse rap than it deserved. But then again, I didn't play past some of the other patches that I heard were pretty bad. But um, I didn't like it because when you flew the planes it would give you automatic lead and all you had to do was aim at a cursor which was ridiculous and you know it's just a lot of things it just got old pretty quickly uh, well anyway they redid the game so this is world of war planes 2.0 um, if you're interested you've probably seen other videos and uh, maybe reviews on it but this is just my take on it uh, i'm not going to get deep into that because if you want to see reviews on the game most people are giving it pretty high marks right now and i would have to agree i'm really digging it i mean um, unfortunately, when they reset everything, I think I lost some of my planes that I paid for. I got my gold back, but I really missed, like, my HE-100, uh, which was a German, uh, extremely fast airplane. But uh, for the most part, everything's in there. I was able to get the planes that I thought were relevant. Um, there's a person who is doing uh, really great videos on the game. I'll have to punch in his name uh, later on. I can't remember. And he's reviewing most of these uh, uh, planes right now, the premiums and some of the standard ones, but I thought I'd just give my take on some of them and kind of how the game works right now. Um, now, noticing that when I'm watching other people playing, I can tell that they're playing with a mouse. I don't play flight sims with mice. I just, other than maybe War Thunder. War Thunder plays pretty well with a mouse unless you're playing in realistic mode. But anyway, in this particular game, I use my Logitech Trusty Extreme 3D Pro. This thing is just a great basic uh, joystick uh, with what I like, which is uh, uh, the twisting rudder, which just feels very intuitive to me. And I have just been racking up the kills in this game. I think I have, well, let's take a peek, I think I have 342 kills. I've been playing for eight hours, and I very rarely die or don't last out the whole game I uh, right now I'm at 59.72 victories and 40 percent defeats that has nothing to do with me I'm I've been really rocking it playing this game especially with the stick um, I love the guys playing with mice because I just don't think they quite have the same level of control but that's up to you what you guys play with anyway um, the game is not a simulator it is a very fun kind of arcade type of a game uh, when it comes to that, it's kind of similar to what Battlefield 2 used to feel like, um, or Battlefield Play for Free used to feel like as far as flying goes. Uh, but it's just a really neat game. I primarily play fighters. I haven't played too much of the multi multi role thing, so you're not going to see me with a lot of bombs and attacking ground. I shoot down players. I shoot down fighters uh, and bombers, and um, that's really what I focus on. Uh, so let me run through the basics here. Basically, you have your home screen, obviously. They have some new things where you can open up uh, different, there's free bombers right now. Um, kind of a promotion, you open up these tokens and you can open up various things. I'm not real deep in all the logistics of everything just yet, just like a lot of people are saying from other videos that I've seen. But uh, this is really basically the way it works. So what is it? Uh, carry out combat reconnaissance to earn a thousand gold. So you're in gold as you do certain things, which is nice because, you know, uh, only thing I really use gold for primarily is paint jobs if I want to put them on my premium planes, which decrease your visual uh, range by about 10%, I believe, um, and, um, and premium airplanes if I want to buy them. So, uh, what do we have? It doesn't look like any specials are going right now, so hopefully you can see what I'm looking at here. And now, the secret project is how, basically, as you accomplish certain things, you get you're able to open up loot boxes. The loot boxes will have certain parts of planes that you can use, so on and so forth. And after you open these up, you get to put the plane together and you get to have that plane. Uh, not the easiest thing in the world to do, but, you know, if you do the missions, you will get to open those bombers up at some point. Um, 
that is how that works now you have just like in world of tanks you'll have service things these are consumables basically fire extinguishers uh, first aid kits uh, let's see if I can show you some more of them you know you obviously have gold and I don't spend gold like on automatic fire extinguishers and stuff like that I just don't use them often enough uh, and I wouldn't want to pay money for something that I personally think should be in the game automatically. But I get it. They got to make that money too. So, anyway, um, you also can buy premium ammunition, just like in World of Tanks. Except in this game, you have no option. You you cannot spend uh, in-game currency to buy ammunition. You have to buy. If you're going to use premium ammunition, you have to you have to use gold. And I am not going to pay gold for um, for am ammunition. I've been doing well enough without it. It would be nice to light some people on fire a little bit more often, but if you have the right kind of guns and you, you're aiming right, you won't really need that too much, I don't think. Uh, obviously, if you're automatic repaired and stuff like that. Your upgrades, it depends on the type of plane you have. This is a premium plane called the Sea Fang. I've only flown a couple missions in it. The game I'm about to show you is my first game in it, and I think I made 300,000 credits <laughs> uh, with a premium account, and I made 200,000 without the premium account. So, I mean, this plane, really, I'm super impressed with it. I've done some serious stuff, and it's a really fun plane to fly. Uh, I'm going to show you a little video on that. So, this is kind of like a partial review, but it's very uh, specifically going to show you some combat footage of the Sea Fang. I think I shot down uh, nine or ten fighters and bombers and made a heck of a lot of money doing it. So, um, yeah. So, basically, uh, this game, this particular uh, airplane, Actually, you know, I'll move on to the airplane in a minute. First, let me just kind of show you some of this stuff. So this plane actually can use bombs and rockets. I don't mount either on there. Not because I can't. It doesn't really mess with performance of the plane too much. But I really use this thing as a, um, an interceptor and air dominance fighter. Uh, it's very effective, extremely maneuverable. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's not like a zero, but it has, it's kind of like a balance of a zero and a spitfire if you play the game a little bit. Um, it's just a really great all-around plane. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of good ones in the premium list, and it really will make you a lot of money. And you really, if you get a lot of kills, you really will um, uh, improve your crew's abilities really fast. Uh, the nice thing about the premiums too, the crew can be used in any airplane. You're not limited to a certain type, um, at least as far as I can tell. So anyway, let's go to the paint shop. No big deal. You just uh, any paint job that you pick, you can pick a coloration I like darker colors because I'm hoping that it makes me a little bit harder to see when I'm on the on the deck kind of low to the ground or whatever I don't know I really can't tell I kind of do what I need to do so anyway uh, so those are not crazy expensive depends on the level of the plane usually between 75 and maybe 100 and something in gold it's not crazy also the nice thing too unlike in world of tanks you can actually use one set of camouflage on all the different environments so I have the, I think, the summer on all of my planes, and I get that advantage on all of them. Uh, on this particular plane, I don't have an emblem mounting or a nose mounting. They don't add any bonus to my visual, uh, uh, how well anybody can see me, uh, so I don't add stuff that I really am not going to have on there. I do have some beta planes uh, from a long time ago, uh, or open open beta planes that have a insignia, but they don't help me. They're just bragging rights, I guess, if you want to that way but anyway uh, so off to the crew so the crew basically you have all these different abilities you open up as you get uh, better and better you can open up various skill points me personally most of my planes I open up marksman one and two uh, marksman one gives me a, um, a five percent um, dis reduction in dispersion of my bullets um, and level three gives me a five percent reduction in dispersion of my bullets and it increases um, my accuracy to uh, maneuvering targets by 10%. Makes a huge difference if you're chasing somebody and they're wiggling all around. It, it doesn't auto track them, but it kind of feels like it is. Maybe it is, I can't tell, but uh, it is noticeable. Also, on most of my fighter planes, actually all of my planes, one of the most important things to me in my upgrades are I use some kind of a sight. In this particular one, it's a gyroscopic gun sight. Instead of firing a shotgun, you're, sh you're firing more of a, or a cone, you're firing more specific to where you're aiming and I try to be as accurate as possible. Uh, these guns can, in the cannons, the guns can overheat quite a bit faster than the machine guns, so you really want to be on target if you can. Um, in this particular plane, 
not to get into all the details, but it, the, it, it basically makes you um, 3% more maneuverable if you have the lightweight airframe 3 and another 3% uh, more maneuverable in terms uh, with control surface adjustment 3 and that is on the C Fang. Uh, it, it seems to make a difference. Uh, the plane was good without it. I tried it before without any kind of um, extra um, equipment on there and it still worked well but you know when you're fighting against really maneuverable fighters you really need to get in there uh, you're gonna have an advantage or at least a comparable um, uh, way to fight so anyway um, that is pretty much as far as that goes you obviously have your tech tree and this just breaks down you know, what you need to do to get what you want to have so uh, I initially when I first this this tech tree is opened up from when I first got the game a long time ago and I was really focusing on the Russian planes um, I don't know they're all, all every every side has their own benefit you know uh, the Japanese planes tend to be super maneuverable but slow so they're very vulnerable to boom and zoom tactics but if you get crazy enough and you want to turn and burn with them you're gonna die because these zeros can outturn <laughs> almost everything um, except for some of the lower level Russian planes. The Russian planes are very maneuverable too, uh, but they can also have heavy cannons. Some of these have uh, some pretty big guns on them too, but so far um, I'm really liking, I guess, my line of Spitfires and some of these American planes. Pretty good, pretty good balances in them too, but you'll have to figure that out as you play. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's turned into an extremely fun game. I hope it can stick around. I hope people give it a chance because I am seriously digging it. I have not even touched my World of Tanks. I have so many premium vehicles in World of Tanks. You know, I need to use them, and I use them a lot, but um, this has really kind of consumed my video game time, and that's why I decided to finally make a video of it. I also got a new rig. I have a kind of a supercomputer, liquid-cooled and tons of RAM, and I've always had pretty decent computers, but this thing is really, really great, and uh, it makes doing video is a lot easier everything's really pretty fast so anyway i've missed you guys and girls if i have any girl uh, or, uh girl followers but uh stick around because there's going to be some footage of me actually playing with this uh sea fang and it is a heck of a plane and um some of these planes i mean if you get good at this game i have my best game it says i had 15 kills but i don't think it counted the uh, the AI kills, but I had 18 kills in a game and made, I think this is the most money I've made in the game, the game you're about to see right now. A ton of experience, but um, one of the best planes, which I don't think any of you guys can get, is the I-15 BIS DM, which is a, a rocket-powered biplane that turns better than a Zero <laughs> for the most part and has basically these little mini guns and it just rips things to shreds. I think that was, I think in that game I've had average between I won't say average but 13 kills is not unusual 10 kills is normal 15 kills is not impossible by any means uh, and you just really people don't understand what they're up against when they play against this little plane and it can dominate uh, much higher tier planes um, but I will go over the specifics of well not specifics but the general my general feeling about most of these planes um, as I get more into the game if I decide to make more videos. So anyway, here comes the Sea Fang. I'm going to stop this part. You might see a volume difference uh, because I'm actually using Bandicam to record this, but I have the, the video you're going to see after this is pre-recorded. I think I use Bandicam, but the volume levels might be different. Uh, but anyway, awesome little plane here. Double, uh, double props, uh, f uh, quadruple 20... Uh, 20 millimeter Hispano cannons fired a really nice rate of fire, and you will see me rip up some people in just a couple minutes. Well, actually, not a couple minutes. Uh, we're going to kind of skip right to the gameplay. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hey, uh, give me a like if you liked the video. Um, if you didn't, hey, I'm sorry. Too bad. Okay.